Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. So in this episode what the goal is is to make a jetpack and hopefully a charger. But the very first thing I'm going to do is upgrade my XP drum. And if you look and remember there's no recipes for drums but when you look at the recipe it actually does have it. So I've got here a drum so if you look at the uses of that. Oh God, I can't do it can I? I've got to press E and then uses. You can actually make a reinforced large drum. So let's go and do that. Oops, uh, press F5. So, the uses of that, let's just, we can do it straight away in here, can't we? I actually made the, I already made the plates. What does that hold now? 4,000 buckets. So I'm not gonna have to come back here too often to empty this out. And there is some XP in there. I assume, yeah, it didn't lose the XP when I picked it up anyway, which is great. Actually, this is, oh, is that filled? So if it's actually coming in, it doesn't seem to be coming in at the moment. But that'll only be temporary because I have been offline for a bit. So let's have a look at jetpacks first of all. Now I'm going to do some else first. I want to actually talk about what people have been saying in the comments. So let's do that first of all. <laughs> Oops, don't want to see my back, do you? Right, let's go around here. So a lot of people have been saying in my comments. Um, Bob the Big Bat told me I can make a cobble. I might need to upgrade my cobblestone generator on the lava production because he's got six and it's all using it for all cobblestone. So I'll have to keep that in mind. You keep that watched hard. Um, my liquids told me I have to have the hot, the soul shard in the hot bar, and I've got a soul shard here, and I actually managed to kill one Enderman. No, two, in fact. So I have, once that's in my hot bar, and when I kill Enderman, it's then ups the numbers up here and I eventually get to enough and then you can actually have a, a spawner from that. So let's go on with that one. Who oh, else have been told? AFX38 says make a power cell. Well, we're going to do that, definitely. And Paladin says I should make some seeds. Now the hardest bit about making seeds is actually finding the prosperity shards. And Bob the Big Bat gave me a tip about that. And what he says is, make find one and then make a tinker's tool using one of the components or parts using a prosperity shard, which we shall do as well, definitely. And the last one was from Malakwa, and he says, there's a problem with um, the golden bag of holding where people are losing items and I should upgrade it or make a handy bag. So let's get on and do the things we want to do today. Handy bag's not a bad idea, so maybe we can start with that one. So I'll look at the recipe for handy bag. Because I haven't looked yet. Handy bag. This one. Large or oh, normal, I guess. The large is going to take oh actually. What are these things? Ender rope. Oh, actually none of this is particularly difficult. That's just a chest with some ender alloy, which is five gold and one ender pearl and this one is an ender chest which is oh we'll do this one definitely and what do we have handy chest small and I don't know whether they, what these are like either though. but let's do this handy bag this one here should be able to do that with almost no problem at all so let's make an ender eye I won't have everything oh I have <laughs> ah yes because I killed an ender bang didn't I so let's do that one. I should be able to just click that in now. So we have an ender chest. We need some ender rope. Yes, I'll need some string and leather. We've got plenty of string and we've got plenty of leather and we've got plenty of ender pearls. Well, plenty. We've got enough anyway. Leather. What's that? I'll take all of those leathers. In fact, what I need to do is come along here. Simply get rid of the stuff I've got in here. Because I was just outside doing the endermen. When I was outside doing the endermen, I got um, some bits and pieces. So we need some ender pearls. I think we need two of those. We need some string. Is that enough? Six. No, I'll take a stack. Yeah, that'll do. So that's what we got. Oh, I've got. Yes, I made another um, beheading for the mob uh, for the mob masher. Actually, the one I'm got this running on I haven't put down yet it's actually there but I'd have taken taken remove the ender um, torch from the ender tether from the top of it 
I'll have a look at that in a while, I guess. Anyway, we should be able to carry on with this. So, this one, we can make four of those. Oh, hold on, I need two, don't I? Yep, this one, we need some end four of these. I probably can't make four because I didn't pick up enough ender pearls. Let's go and get some more ender pearls. I think three is enough. If not, I come back and get another one. Let's try that again. That's four. That makes two. Oh, that's good, no big deal. What am I missing? Ah, oh, that makes four, doesn't it? Okay, smashing. So I'll actually see the basics done. I should then be able to click this into place. Indeed I can. So now I have one handy bag large. Let's have a look at this. Yep, it's big all right. <laughs> and I guess they can sort it. I've got some memory cards in here. I'm not sure what they do. I'm gonna to have to read up about it. And I haven't done it yet got quite a complicated user interface on it, that's for certain, or at first looks it does. Ah, I think I've got, to, it's all greyed out, isn't it, so I can't put a thing in it yet. Okay, so I've got to make a memory card. Let's have a look at memory cards. <laughs> What's the mod? ND Utilities, let's put that one instead. So we've got 6, 8, 10 and 12. What do these cost? Tens. Let's start with a six. So we need some more ender alloy. Yes, okay. At the time we need some more ender pulse. So basically what do we need for that? Because it was four, we need four. So we need one ender pulse. Oh, okay, no big deal. Let's get that done. I'll start with this one and maybe upgrade over time. Because it's just following recipes, isn't it? I'll take four just in case I need them. Put them in here, actually. There's no point in wandering around with these things all the time, is there? So, let's sort that out. So actually got quite a lot of, well, a bit of space in there now. Let's do that one. Let's make some sixes. So we need to do this one first. We actually need only need one of those. What's a short of iron? And then we need to make some chests. So we need to, how many? I need two chests, don't I? So I'm going to make all these into chests. It'll make eight, and I've got one already that makes nine. So I want two. Yep, I should be able to simply click it in. So now I've got two memory cards of six. So let's open up the bag again and put these two in it. And sure enough, I get space, so I can actually start to put things in there. Oh, yep. That's good, shift clicking it in. I'm not quite sure how everything works yet, but we'll figure that out and we'll do that next episode. Thank you very much for that tip, by the way. It looks like it's going to be a really good one. I don't know what I have to, I'm going to get rid of the, the bag of holding. It's a pain anyway, you can't sort stuff. It's, it's still a bit on the small, let's take a look at it. It's still a bit on the small side. About the size of a golden chest, isn't it? And it's not very flexible. If you don't want to sort stuff, you can't sort it. If you put if you put things in, they move around. It's yeah, it's a shame. But it's that used to be one of the best, but isn't anymore. So next thing, jetpack. Let's have a look at jetpacks. That's actually simply jetpacks, isn't it? In fact, the first thing I should really do is to make an energetic infuser. So the we have to make the lead, I think we have to make the leadstone before we make the hardened because that everything uses the lead the leadstone jetpacks. So let's have a look at this one. What do we need for this? We need some thrusters, leadstone thrusters. So we need some dynamos. So we need some redstone transmission coils. And I need two of those, I think. Was that two per um that was for that one, I just need one of those. Oh, that's right, yeah. Two of those. <laughs> Look at this. No iron. Copper gear, so we need to make a couple of copper gears, shall we? I've probably got copper. I've got plenty of iron anyway, it's in the chest over here. It is in this crate down here. 
Oh yeah, Malacca also told me I should make a bigger, a bigger smeltery because this one, I don't know, he, he doesn't know how I can cope with this one. <laughs> this is only two blocks, but it does work. It goes through fairly reasonably, so I don't really mind that much. It's obviously not going to be as fast. So I've put those in there like that. What's going to happen here? I did take it out. Yeah, that's fine. I need the gear cast. I haven't put one in actually. And that'll make our two copper gears for us. That's clicking on good. Yep. In fact, what I've I have done is I moved. To, I cut a new alloy kiln because I've got the extra ones. But I think I'm probably going to swap all of this around and make this bigger. It is definitely too small. So let's have a look. That was gears. And then we need to make a belt and we need to make another redstone thing. I've got some iron, that's good. So we might as well make the belt. That's fairly straightforward to make. This thing, what's that one? Sulfur dust. Got oh, plenty of sulfur dust. I think we only need one of those, don't we? Because it's that, that, that bit anyway. So let's get that one done now. Oh, I was just, I'm just clicking the plus. I'm not shift clicking the plus because it breaks everything else. Leading, it's no problem. And this one thrusters. We need to make the dynamos. What else do we need in here? Just the gears we're missing on that one. And this one we'll need to make the redstone reception coils. We need two of those. Oh, I did. And now at that time I should have clicked it in. In fact, please just to do it like this, isn't it? I got it the wrong way around. Is it that way? Nope. <laughs> Recipe. Oh, okay. I got the wrong things around, didn't I? Mixed that up nicely. And uh, next one. I think that's it. Just go and get those two gears. I like using the gear cast. It gives it the nice lo looking version of the gears, but I know that's a bit daft, isn't it? But there we are. So now we can make the dynamos. Shift click those in, we should be up to. And then we should be able to make the thrusters. Uh, four pieces of glass we need. Is there any glass in there? Yes. thrusters. I'll make two of those. So I can actually make now the first jetpack. Like that. So now we need to fuel it up. Now I'm certain ah it's these things, the leadstone flux packs. That holds 1.5 million RF. This one holds 12 million RF. The reinforced one. So can we make one of these? Another belt. That shouldn't be too difficult. What's going to be here difficult? A basic energy cell. Why is that not showing me a recipe for basic? An energy cell basic. And I'm clicking on it, that's a bit weird. Lead, no problem. So, energy cell basic from thermal expansion. Okay, I should do that. Come on. So that's the energy bill. So, so we need to make an energy cell. I'm sure we can make this one. Yeah, we can. Good. So, ah, an ironwood ingot. That's my pro problem because I need ironwood essence. And I think the only way we can get that is by smelting raw ironwood materials. For that, we need a, liver, a live root from the twilight forest. Great. <laughs> yeah, I'd have expected to be able to do that one. What about this one here? Yeah, you can't upgrade it. That's true. We've got to use this one to upgrade it. Now, there is another power cell, and I think we'll make... Can we make this power cell anyway? No, we can't. That's a real shame. So, what other energy cells have we got in this pack? Yeah, that was what I was thinking about before. What 
are these? Copper cells. Cell crystal. I'm just having a quick look. At something else while I'm doing that, because I basically just want to have a quick look at that comment that FX38 made. He says, make a RF tools power cell. So can we see an RF power cell in here? Let's look for power. Power cell RF tools. What do we need for this? Okay, we need a machine frame. That's easy. Just two gold nuggets missing. That's uh, not a big deal. If I, if I do it twice, we get an even number. And you're always using them in twos. I've got prismarine shards. Redstone blocks might be a bit more difficult. This one isn't too difficult. Redstone. Yeah, I actually got plenty of redstone. Because I was using my crusher on it, and it's uh, made life go a lot easier. Getting 12, was it 12 redstone per? No, I don't know how many we get per. It's actually quite a lot. So seven. Win. I think we need four blocks, don't we? Let's double check that recipe now. So we need that. I've done that one. So I think I can do this straight away. There we go. One power shot. So how much does it store? One million RF. Okay, great. And the next one up is an advanced power cell, which will hold 4 million RF, and that requires infused diamonds, which I can't do yet, because I need some more prismarine shards. And I'd like to keep some of those prismarine shards I've got to make seeds with, because they're a pain. <laughs> but the rest of it's not, no big deal. So actually, that was eight prismarine shards. And this one requires eight, so I would need 16. I haven't got enough yet. Okay. I can get rid of this iron. It's an iron ore chunk. Now, that iron ore chunk comes when you're mining. Every once in a while, you get a double because of the... Um, that. Well, because of the... Um, oh, the buff that you get from the doing the levels. So we put that into here. I think, yep, this is the place I've got to put in. And we'll get some iron out of it in a while. What have we got in here? Crushed copper ore. Okay. In fact, I've got some more some more stuff to put away. Let's go and put that away. I'll let that. I don't need to worry about that at the moment, do I? So, in the middle chest, I can get rid of these two arcane scrolls. So, I don't need these for the tummy, so I'll put those up there. And I don't need this because I can't do what I wanted to do. Now, let's let's connect this thing up, shall we? What I could do is to make an energy relay. Can I make an energy relay? Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do next is to make the um, energetic infuser. Because you need some way to get power into this thing. And that's the energetic infuser from thermal expansion. So that's a block of iron and two more copper gears. Let's get the copper gears going first of all. That's that, and then we need to get those doing. Actually, it's got it's already prepared, isn't it? So all I have to do is click them into that, and then we can forget about them. And then we need each one of these type of trans coils. So we need two transmission coils. We need, i to keep looking for where it is and shouldn't need to really. I've probably got some Electrum, one of those. And we've definitely got gold so we can do the other one down the bottom here. What else do we need for this? Machine frame, so let's make the block of iron. And I haven't set this up either. I need to really go and do that as well. That's one of the other things that's on my to-do list. Where's he gone to? There. But it's, at the moment, I don't need it very often. It's it's done in a few seconds, so it's not such a big deal. So we just need the copper gears now. Let's go and get those. 
Oh, one. Oh, I've just seen the other one coming through, I think. Two ingots. This is where I need the um, the bigger smeltery. Boom. Okay, so now we can do that. The next thing we can do with this jetpack is to put some armor on it. But I'll need to make this up first of all, so we can actually get the jetpack charged up. Let's go and put this down. Oh, energetic quest completed. I never knew that was a quest until now. Let's, and I got a nice little freezer. So all I need to do now is to come to here, my bag of holding, and put down one of these leadstone coils. Like this. Put onto that the top of the energetic infuser. Oh. And then that should start to get power in. While that's getting power and we can charge it up. It's got 80,000 RF. It doesn't last very long. In fact, it doesn't last anywhere near long enough. So let's see if we can actually do an upgrade for that and get the stuff prepared for that. It's probably going to be a more boosters and stuff like that. What's the next one? The hardened pack. Huh? So we'll need that. We'll need a hardened one of these. So we need... Okay. So I need sulfur for that one. What have we got here? Elect Invar and tin. No big deal. Redstone. No big deal. I can do that. No problem. The jetpacks. We're going to need some of these, which we need lead gears. Okay, so we'll make some lead gears. So we need eight lead. Another steel helmet, I don't need that. Let's go and put that in here. Let's have a look in here. Uh, wrong one. Actually, not so much in there. All those things that are in here at the moment are things that I can are not going automatically out. How's this doing? Yeah, it's gone up a lot. It was 90,000, it was gone up to 80, 80,000 bucket or 80 buckets or something like that in this time we've been doing this. So, what else do we need? Let's don't get I didn't put the lead stones in oh. the lead in here. Well, lead's actually quite fast, it'll that'll smelt up fairly quickly, so they won't be too long. I think we need to go and get this jet jetpack anyway because we need that as a as a as the f another part of the jetpack, it didn't take too long. I wonder if I lose the 80,000 RF. Well, I've got this thing, haven't I? Let's go and put this down as well. And I reckon that's going to work the same way as this one, so let's just make a small hole. Let's put down some more. Oh, yeah. Actually, I don't know what I'm pressing there. Oh, I'm pressing E. Okay. And E opens up the jetpack as well. Huh? Um, the handy bag. That's interesting. So let's right click this one. So we need one of these. If we put this on top of it, probably too close. This should start to charge up. Um, no, it's not. In. Accepts energy from all sides. Ah, yeah, now it's working fine. Good. So now it's actually a good test to see how the power is going to keep up. The this is this will be full. Because every time I looked at it, it's full. So as soon as the, these start, the lava gets starts to get used by the power, which is here, these will get these will empty it out a bit. As you can see, those two are emptying out now. But at the moment, this shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, looks like it's okay. We'll see in a few minutes whether or not that's working or not perfectly. So next thing. I can collect those lead gears now, can't I? You know, I'm always a... I don't want to miss things out. I'm sure, not sure you'd have to do things or, or stuff like that. But I'm never sure whether you're interested in these type of things. Because it's up. It can be a bit of a... I don't know. What's the word? Missing some of these two. Let's, I need two of those. So now we should be able to do this. Let's do thrusters. 
I'm missing. Do not make some copper gears as well. That's strange. I thought I did. Maybe they're in the chest. I didn't look carefully enough, did I? So I need eight of these. And it was iron. Well, there's plenty of iron in that chest. We can get some of that out, no problem. It doesn't really matter if I make extra copper gears, does it? No, yeah, exactly. So I didn't make the copper gears. So I'm going to have to wait on those. Never mind. So we'll look what else we've got to do on this, because there's bound to be other things. So we need two of these. So we need the two dynamos. We need four pieces of glass. Let's know. Oh, invar. Have we got enough invar? Nope, we've got one piece of invar. So that's three iron and one nickel, isn't it? Double check that before I... Two iron and... That's right, it's two iron. Let's get the iron out of here. I've got it already. I need some nickel the other time. I didn't pick it up. I'm just trying to figure out. We need three, four. I think I'm going to make a little extra this time. So where's the nickel here? That'll make uh, 12 ingots. I think that'll be enough. So we put those in there, and then we're going to need eight of those. And that should be enough. There should be plenty of coal in there. And that should go down one to two, and we should get three out of here, shouldn't we? Wait a second. Yeah, fantastic. Let's put the iron into here and the redstone. Oh, redstone's full. That's interesting. Didn't expect that. So what else have we got to do with this? Dynamo. We can make, certainly should be able to make two of those. Why couldn't I make two? I only made, <laughs> I didn't make enough lead gears, did I? Let's do that. I suppose a couple ones are already made, so we can take those out of there. Yep, they are. Hopefully, I, while I'm here, let's double check that. So that's just the glass wheel, no big deal with the glass. That's the lead. Okay, that's no problem. Okay, so I think we can actually do this one next, can't we? I'm not even sure I need the copper gears for it, to be honest with you. Oh, okay. We got one. Hmm. Well, the other next thing we're going to do is make an armoured for this. So we need an armoured stuff for this as well. So maybe I need more invar going along. Let's have a look. Didn't bring any more, but we should have a bit in here already. Oops. It's already finished. That's, it's fairly fast, that one. I'm quite impressed with the, the kiln. And you think about it, compare that to the um, the blast furnace, it really goes, does whip along quite quick. So right now, one of them was missing. This one wasn't. I needed another one of these. So we've got our two. One for each jetpack. We'll need four pieces of glass and two of these. Glass. I've actually got plenty of glass. So we should be able to do this now. Let's get these thrusters made. Yep, got the two thrusters. So now we should be able to make the jetpack. Oh, I'm missing the split one. Did I do this? Nope. Sulfur. Okay, I thought I went and got some sulfur. I obviously didn't. There's only one we need, so that's no big deal. I think there's only one we need. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if that's wrong, but we are. Uh, that one. That one. That one. One of those. So that one is one of these, which is just... That. So we've actually got three ingots of invalid left. So we should now be able to do that. Ah, uh -huh. okay. 
I thought it might be a bit shorter than the invite. Let's make 20. No, let's make 10. How much iron have I got with me? None. I can I get through iron so fast. I'll take those. I shall take a stack with us. I need to know. So we just need one, I think, to finish this off. So we'll do that. We'll need more for the armor, I'm sure of it. There we go. So oh, and, he did, and he did retain the charge. Fantastic. Now the next thing is we need to armor plate this one. So that's will be this one. So we need bronze armor plating. So we need 10 pieces of bronze, which I need to make an induction smelter for. And iron armor, which I don't need to make an induction smelter for, I think. Let's have a look at how difficult it is to make an induction smelter. Something I want anyway. It's another block of iron, let's get that sorted out. Might even have one to be honest with you. Some more copper gears, uh, a redstone reception core, and a bucket. Okay. Copper gears, I need some more. Oh, I got I've got copper gears. I'll use those from the previous time that I was actually thought I'd gonna need a couple of gears for something. Right, just that one, okay. And a bucket. We've got buckets in the, I think I've got some spare buckets around. It doesn't matter very much. It doesn't take very long to get a bucket. Probably got one in my bag if I've got any. <laughs> Two. Induction spelter. That might even complete a quest, actually. So, but also, I needed some bronze, didn't I? Some bronze plating. So we needed 10 bronze ingots. So that, I think, is something like... Yep, completed the quest induction. So we need some copper. I've got copper at hit 8. And we'll need some tin. And I think it's 3 to 1. So we'll use 9 of those. And then we'll make some tin. Did pick up tin, not silver, didn't I? Yep, good. And we'll do that in this, in here as well. That should have finished. It does good. I have to double check this because so I don't want to waste time. See there on my on my just above my the kiln, you can see where the prosperity is. Three hundred and thirty-two blocks away. There's one ore. Now, how am I doing with this thing? I've got. I've increased it luck three, so I might be able to just harvest that one. We need ten, don't we? Oh, that was a, that was a good luck. <laughs> so out of the bag, we need another one of these. Let's get that out of the bag here. Power cable size. I'll put this one down here. In fact, by the time I finish, I need to put that laser really on that, and I will only use it for something else later on. I'm sure of it. So let's put this down here. Let's put the basic induction filter down here. So, getting power, that's great. So, we need this one plus this. That, right, oh, I need to enable the flux shot. And that It'll leave two bronze ingots in here. Actually, that's going pretty fast. Look at that. That was really fast. So now I think I just craft these together. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's just shapeless crafting. It is. Look at that. And we'll put this, we'll put this on in the charger here. Then a confuser, and that'll start. That'll carry on charging up. How much power have we got in here? One million RF already. Wow. <laughs> 
didn't take very long, did it? And these have still got plenty of, well, these, these are full. This got to use a little bit. This one's, well, didn't use that much power. Lava, it used a bit. How's, that, how's, the, how's this doing? Wrong one. That's full. I can't tell from that. Oh, I just picked up those two. No, I can't put them back again. <laughs> Never mind. I'll put those into here for the time being. And then we'll take the iron out. Of crushed iron, is it? Oh, I got an extra one, didn't I? Yeah. Because I only put two bits in there. I'll have to figure out that one. Where's my jetpack? How's that doing? Uh, it takes a while to charge up. And I get six armor on the body, which isn't as much as I've got at the moment. That'll reduce it by two. But I think the next level up starts to get a bit more complicated. Actually, let's check it. The reinforced jetpack. Destabilize redstone. Now, you know, this isn't actually that difficult to do. But I won't do that on, on camera. I could do that hardened signal and glass, which is basically hardened glass, I think, with signal and this one I haven't made yet, but there's no shortage of this anymore. I've got the induction smelter now, so we can actually make some hardened glass. Fantastic. Well, making pretty good progress with the stuff that we've got. Let's go and write. I think now it's time to demonstrate something else. Let's just get rid of what I don't need in here. Put those two in the smelter. I'll keep that with me. I've got this uh, RF transmitter, which I haven't used yet. I need to set up the mills for that one. I've got my night dank mill. We'll put that up here like this, because that's good for collecting stuff. And I can put away redstone, iron, and string. Glass and string. No, I can't do that yet. I can go there. Oh, okay, it's full. Oh, it's got full. I'll put them in here then. I can't. No, I can't. <laughs> wow. Get rid of leather. No, I can't get rid of leather either. My goodness. When am I going to put those? Let's put those in. Let's put those in here for the time being. I forget where I put them. It's usually the way. Let's get rid of these tools. So we want the, not the zombie pigmen. I'm not going to attack them. They can't see me now anyway, which is great. And I think that's what we need. This is sharp enough. It's got necrotic four in it, so as soon as I hit somebody, it steals forty percent of their health. So what I was doing wrong when I was playing with this before, I was basically standing underneath the shelter here. And because the end endermen can't teleport here, they were teleporting me out of here. So let's go and have a look at this. See, I've got this... Uh, so I removed the end of the tether out from here, but we can actually put the next one of these beheadings in here. We've, eventually we'll get some enderman skulls around there. So let's just find an, an enderman first of all. They're not, so that's one there. Let's put down the induction, induction torch and look at him. If he's going to walk away, I have to shoot him. Like that. No, he can't get to me. So all I have to do now is come to him and hit him. And with this uh, ka katana, it just goes very fast. Like that. Oh, got and I got a doodah. Nebulous heart. So that's how we do Enderman now, and it works just. Oh, that's loads of them over. Let's just get those over to me. Oh, two coming. One perfect. Now they can't. I must have hit a, a zombie pigment. And I don't need to worry about zombie pigment anymore. Either because they're um Because they can't see me. Uh-huh. Did he drop down there? If I go come out of there here. Where are you? Tell you what we'll do, just put the tether down. Oh there he is, he's coming around now. Okay, good, smashing. And I still had strength from the previous time. Maybe I should fill this in a bit, shouldn't I? But there were some more Endermen over there. Where have they gone to? Oh, 
Over there, look. Hey, it's coming. There's no good being down there, mate. I have to come up here. Two. Hit him. Oh. It's going too high. That's strange. Oops. Now, where is he? <laughs> Let's just uh, dig my way out of here. I want to get up here, really. Uh, pickaxe. Where is my torch gone to? Oh, there. It's a tether. And where's the other one? Oh, there. Okay. Where did he go to? Because I didn't see him. I can hear him. Oh, there he is. Look. Now, good. So let's get him shot. It's going that way. It's interesting. I don't know whether to put the tether near or not. What did he drop that time? He seemed to drop something strange. So I've got two nebulous hearts, two under pearls, and two infused essence. No, an infused essence. He drops an infused essence. So, next one. I didn't do so well with that one. I think I should fill in this hole a bit or do it somewhere slightly different. So let's remove this. And the tether. And find somewhere else to do this. It's a bit better. They've been spawning over here, haven't they? So let's do it over here a bit better. A bit more. Nah. Anyway, that was it. That was what I wanted to show. I could put the end, well, I'm not doing using it, I'll put the end of the tether back here on this. And any ones which come into the um, the mob farm will, should get teleported here, so let's shift click it on there, like that. Oh, an enderman can't see me. So, for example, not enderman, zombie pigman, where's he gone to? I can hear him. Oh, there's one over there. If I hit this guy, oh, another enderman. Let's just put this down here like that. And look at him. All right, can't get me. Oh, it's coming from that side. That good. How much hearts has he got? 34, okay. <laughs> He's getting stuck between those two tethers. That's it, good. Another end of pearl. I was going to aggravate this. Um, oh, there, the zombie pig. Let's just aggravate those guys. See, they don't come charging at you. Oh, good. Let's get my sword updated a bit here. And this one. Can't get him. Where's he gone to? So the zombie pigmen don't get... Oh, there's another one over here too. There's, when you get a, a blight one of these, they are the best. Because they're not that difficult to kill. And um, with them, when you kill, you usually get a heart, or maybe even two hearts to go. So as you see, I've got... Oops, wrong way. I've got five yellow hearts now. And that was because of a... I think that was because of a blight. Um, ember. I'm difficult to remember that one this time, wasn't I? Well, that'll do. Let's go back to the base. Oh, look, zombie peanuts. See, it doesn't attack me. Great. <laughs> I don't need to kill him. <laughs> I great the others and they'll move around in there and get, and get ground on the mob farm. <laughs> So, the last thing to do is to put that jetpack on. It will be charged up now. Let's have a look at this. So, I've got actually nine shields. It's not too bad. To activate it, I press G. 
and deactivate it and to hover I don't think he's oh yeah hover mode I did change it to H to enable it so hover mode is disabled hover mode enables actually good but I don't really need it because I'll show you I just drop down from here I take a little bit of damage but not much damage because I've got that buff and that was from the levels buff here I think that's athletics this one here decreases um, fall damage so I've got minus 10 fall damage per level so I've got minus 50 fall damage which helps a lot and I think the boots have also got I oh know they haven't got um, feather feather falling on it Baba -ba, can't speak so next up this is the first part of the preparation fact for the treasure hunt which I didn't know what I said yesterday about the treasure hunt but this is the first part of the preparation between episodes I am I trying to get the next level of jetpack up and running uh, so until then I wish you all the best bye for now